given a triangle here um, with various uh, side lengths and we want to find the area of this triangle um, with just this information we have okay now if you recall um, just the areas of various shapes we know that the area of a triangle let's call it at is one half base times height so in this case our base is going to be the 6.7 and the height is going to be the perpendicular or the altitude let me try that again it's going to be this guy here okay that drops from angle a to the bottom at 90 degrees Okay, um, so we have our base, but we need our height. Okay, and with the information that we have right now, um, it doesn't look like we can solve it um, because, you know, we just have all these side lengths and no angles really. But if you recall, there is a version of the cosine law that given all three sides, you can figure out the angles of the triangle. Now, I'm not going to pick just any random angle. I mean, I could pick A, but that's not really going to be too helpful. Okay, I'm going to actually try to solve for angle C. Okay, because if I have angle C, well, I have the hypotenuse of this triangle here. And basically, I can find the height using Sokotoa okay and then plug it into my formula okay because in this formula remember we have the base oops let me erase that again we have the base obviously a half is a half all we need is the height and once we find that from you know previous calculations we got our area so let's let's uh let's solve for angle c using the cosine law for angles so i'm going to write it out in full and then rearrange it minus 2ab cos c and i'm just going to rearrange this formula for cosine c so i'm going to get um, c squared minus a squared minus b squared all divided by and i'm doing a whole bunch of steps at once 2ab is equal to cosine of c so cosine of c is equal to a squared plus b squared minus c squared. Now, by the way, you, you can memorize this if you want. Um, personally, I hate memorizing stuff. I always like to be able to memorize the least amount of things and derive as much as I can from um, you know the scenario that, that I'm working on. Okay, that way. It really means you you understand you know it's a deeper understanding of, of uh, the scenario and the mathematics behind it uh, but again whatever your comfort level is at uh, that's where you should be working at okay um, eventually you memorize these because you just use them uh, so much so let's start plugging in the values uh, for a this is going to be my side a this is going to be my side B this is going to be my side C so I have here um, 6.7 squared plus 4.8 squared minus 6.1 squared all over 2 times 6.7 times uh, 4.8 and at this point I'm gonna have to get my calculator out so let's uh, bring this guy over and let's take a look at these numbers Okay, so 6.7 squared plus 4.8, oh, wrong one. Let's do that again. 6.7 squared plus 4.8 squared minus 6.1 squared equals that. And we're going to divide that all by, I'll put in some brackets, 2 times 6.7 times 4.8, close bracket, and there's my number. So cos C is equal to 0 0.4776 dot dot dot. I'll just leave it at that. And so the inverse of that will give me my angle C. So let's do cos inverse. And that's going to be 61.47 
uh, let's just say 61 degrees. Okay, it could be 62, but we'll leave it at 61. Okay, well, I should have done that actually because I'm going to need this again. So I'll bring this back. Um, let's go back to our scenario here. So we have angle C. Okay, it's 61 degrees. Let's zoom in here. Okay, so I have this here. This is 61 degrees. And I can solve now using SOHCAHTOA angle opposite hypotenuse. All right, so I'm going to go now sine of 61 degrees equals h over 4.8. Going to isolate for h. h is 4.8 times sine of 61. And that gives me, let's see, 61 sine times 4.8, 4.1. Actually, let's be a bit more accurate, 4.2. Great. Okay. So I have my height, 4.2. I can go back to my work over here and plug in my values. So I have 0 0.5, which is my base, time, sorry, my half, times 6.7 times 4.2. So what does that give us? Let's do 6.7 times 4.2 times 0 0.5, 14.1 centimeters squared. That's going to give me my, my area, and we're done.